हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर मैथमेटिक्स क्लास विद योर आशु मैम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट यूनिट एट ऑफ योर एन बुक द नेम ऑफ द यूनिट इज ट्रिग्नोमेट्री सो व्हाट डज इट मीन ट्रिग्नोमेट्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू दैट डियर ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इज ओनली मेंट फॉर राइट ट्राइंगल्स दिस चैप्टर इज ओनली एप्लीकेबल इफ in any real life situation a right triangle is formed a right triangle means a triangle having a hypotenuse which is opposite to 90 degree and two other sides dear students what does this trigonometry meaning it this trigonometry word is obtained from two words one is triangle and other is measure triangle which we call as uh, call it as trigonon and metron means measure so this chapter this word trigonometry is meant for right triangles and to measure its three angles or three sides and what are these three sides the perpendicular the base and the hypotenuse and till now we know that hypotenuse is the longest side of the right triangle and this is the side which is opposite to the right angle that is 90 degree and till now we have studied that a standing line name has bc as perpendicular and ab as base but in this chapter you will study a new concept about the perpendicular and base perpendicular is only that side that side of the triangle is known as perpendicular which is opposite to the given angle like in this figure as you can see angle a is marked so opposite to angle a is bc side so this is perpendicular and the last side which is left will be read as base but if we will mark angle c then opposite to c we have ab side then we will take ab as perpendicular and bc as base then now let us study where we can use where do we use this chapter this trigonometry in our day to day life means let me make you aware about the trigonometric applications so as i told you we can use this trigonometry only in if we get a right triangle in any of the case as you can see in the picture the right side is considered which is parallel to the tree tree is always at 90 degree to the 76 feet ground and i'm standing at the angle point 49 degrees to the sun rays so if i want to find any of the three lengths of this case i can use trigonometry similarly dear students let me tell you trigonometry is uh, will be going to will going to be very useful in civil engineering if you will prefer civil engineering you will see that this chapter is going to be used then one more example as you can see the water the sea is there and a boat a ship is floating on the sea and under the sea in the water there is a submarine and if i want to measure the distance between the ship and submarine i need the help of trigonometry what i will do that i'll find out the vertical distance because submarine is at some depth i'll take the vertical distance bk and then the distance between that vertical point to submarine so if i'll come to know the distances any two distances i will be able to find out the third length of this triangle which you can see here is one more example in front of you a tower is there for example if you want to you are standing at a point a and you will mark the top of the tower as c and b as the base or bottom part of the tower 
dear students we all know the height of the tower and we can easily measure the distance between the base of the tower and uh, uh, the distance between us that means the point a and b we can easily measure but to measure the distance ac means i am watching i am standing at point a and i am watching the c point that is the top point of the tower and i want to know the distance between my eyes and the top of the tower that is the line of sight i will take the help of this chapter that is trigonometry here one more example is there a lighthouse you can see in the picture and a boat is floating on the water if i want to check how much far i have to throw this light then i will use trigonometry in case of solar system also method that astronomers used to calculate the distance of stars from the sun or other planets we can use trigonometry so here is the right triangle dear students the side which is colored as blue will be the hypotenuse this is the longest side and it is opposite to the 90 degree angle as you can see then the side which is colored yellow sorry red which is opposite to the angle theta it is known as the side opposite to angle theta then adjacent side means hota hai sath wali side so uh, the side which is marked as x in green color is adjacent to opposite side y so we will consider three sides hypotenuse which is always fixed hypotenuse will never get changed it is always opposite to 90 degree angle and the opposite side always depend on the angle so dear students this is the thing which is very important to learn in this chapter that which side will be considered as hypotenuse which will be the opposite side and which will be the adjacent so once again the side opposite to 90 degree is considered as hypotenuse this is always fixed then the side opposite to the angle will be considered as opposite side and the third remaining side will be considered as adjacent side then dear students in this chapter we will study about the trigonometric ratios here you can see uh, in the table that we have six trigonometric ratios which are written uh, written under the uh, under the name of function first is sin a whose abbreviation is sin and a is the angle sin a then cosine this is a full form of cos tangent tan a cosecant a is denoted by uh, csc or cosec then secant is denoted by sec a cotangent is denoted by cot a so these are the six trigonometric ratios which we will study and which will play is important role in trigonometry and they are equal to the ratio of any two sides of a right triangle like sin is equal to opposite side upon hypotenuse as you can see opposite side upon hypotenuse cos is equal to adjacent side upon hypotenuse so which one is adjacent side this is adjacent side green upon hypotenuse blue so this is very important and i'll tell you in a, in my next video that how to learn uh these ratios in very easy manner there are some tricks which we can use like pandit badri prasad har har bhole sona chandi tole or we can use the second one also so that's all for now dear students before uh, starting the chapter you must note down this table in your notebook and you must draw a right triangle marking hypotenuse opposite side and adjacent the opposite side opposite to angle is known as perpendicular and the adjacent side will be considered as the base so that's all for now thanks thank you i hope the video is making your concepts clear thank you